Thank you for uh, having me here. So uh, I will uh, talk about uh, some joint solidarity phenomena that uh, take place uh, around uh, oceans, there is a algebra and some conjectural expressions. So let's begin just from some uh, algebra uh, A, uh, which like, begins from the previous video and is uh gradient where uh each uh individual gradient component might have some inner gradient itself and uh let us denote by little a m the uh polar characteristic of uh this uh gradient component that is calculating some of the dimensions of uh, the device. Uh, then uh, we have uh, a Hilbert series uh, of this algebra E. Uh, that will be the of E, which is the uh, sum of A uh, and E. Get from one to the algebra, and again from A and then it was uh, A1 plus A2 square and so on. Uh, let us now imagine that we are in our year one of undergrad and we are solving a problem of uh, taking this power series and uh, finding the inverse functions. How would we solve? Uh, such a uh, uh, problem. Well, we'll assume that the answer is some part of series with coefficients e. And we uh, multiply one, and uh, then we start uh, evaluating the coefficients with e one by one. So, for example, we see that uh, V1 has to be minus A1 by opening those brackets uh, and proceeding by induction. We have seen that the condition of uh, Vn is equal to some over always to express N as some A1 AL. Plus minus uh, a one a a l and uh, here we would uh, get our mark for the for the problem uh, the problem year one undergrad and another question uh, this series uh, whose coefficients we have uh, just identified uh, what of the break interpretation does it have? Is it a Hubert series of some uh, meaningful object? And the answer is yes, namely adding R that construct something uh, which is called bar A, uh, which as a graded vector space uh, is the completed tensor algebra of some shift of our A. So it is A plus A plus A square and so on. And uh, if we start writing out the Hubert uh, series of this object over here, well, this shift is something that uh, please uh, that, uh, that changes the sign uh, okay anyways uh, as plus minus. Uh, but in general, you see that great components uh, of this thing assemble as function of base. So uh, we have uh, gone plus e one t plus e two t. Plus so, 
being the uh, series of or where do you say what part it is? Well, uh, in fact, uh, it is a co-algebra and it has some differential. If everything is finitely dimensional, then you can brutally make that into an algebra. Uh, uh, but uh, anyways, we got a relation that f of a of t times f of bar a of t that's how I do. That's how I do. Uh, now, uh, there is another, uh, so, so this is uh, part duality, and there is uh, another duality that uh, we could consider for our algebra A. If our algebra A was of nice form, namely, let us assume now that our algebra A is radical generation. So, uh, this is P of where is some phase of generators. Uh, model ideal E, uh, where ideal E is generated by some relations which are quadratic, that is, they set in the uh, second delta square uh, of the two. So, an algebra which has this form is uh, called a quadratic algebra. And for a quadratic algebra, uh, we can consider uh, its uh, quadratic dual matrix, uh, which is generated by the uh, dual uh, vector space. And uh, the ideal uh, over which uh, a function is the Orthogonal to our uh, own ideal of So uh, let us uh, see. So yeah, and uh, what is the connection uh, with uh, the uh, previous thing? Uh, if the algebra A is for sure, whatever it means, you know, that will be in this sense what it means for me. Uh, then uh, the quadratic dual uh, is was equivalent to the bar dual, which is forced to be a uh, algebra mm -hmm. uh, Let us look at an example of uh, the uh, most elementary example of quadratic duality. Uh, let us uh, take our algebra A to uh, be the external algebra in uh, one vector. So this is T of vector space is X, which is one dimensional. So uh, modulo the ideal I, which is well, basically, all of the uh, square uh, of the pair, because this is already there. Mm -hmm. So our uh, V is X, our R is X under X. Mm -hmm. uh, so that also gives the uh, quadratic wall. Well, our uh, Generator is some uh, x star uh, uh, dual vector. Now, what is the orthogonal to everything? Uh, orthogonal to everything is nothing. Uh, so we have the uh, zero ideal. So we don't get the symmetric algebra in this uh, extra level. And uh, now, uh, Let's see if uh, our uh, ovulation modular size because I want my science works. Well, what is the Hilbert series of the uh, uh, external algebra? It is one plus T. That's it. 
So what is the uh, series of uh, symmetric algebra print one variable? Well, it's one dimensional degree component. So it's one plus t plus the squared plus everything. And assuming that our coefficients, let's say that our coefficients have been absent instead of me saying plus one every time, then it is the second one. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't, uh, I, I've just said that coefficients live in F2. Yes, but I said that my coefficients live in F2. I just I used them. No, because there was, there are some sheets that I have to uh, take into account, and I really didn't want to do that during this talk. So I am just saying that I'm always writing plus, and that I'm only interested in everything after. This is wrong, and in fact, uh, for the uh, quadratic. Uh, so if this is a and this is h a. Then over here you must have minus t for that case in the whole. Uh, but uh, given that I don't want to take care of signs, I'm just saying plus everything. Uh, okay, so uh, this was the example of uh, quadratic duality and the uh, identity of, of, of the word series. And uh, what are uh, another uh, interesting examples of uh, visual algebras. Well, uh, from uh, algebras, let's go to algebras with several objects. Categories. Uh, so uh, this is uh, there's a sort of algebra where you know elements have beginnings and ends, and you can only multiply uh, elements if the beginning and uh, end uh, are compatible. So uh, then, uh, uh, what is uh, a concrete series for an algebra with uh, some bunch of objects? Well, it's almost the same thing as previously, uh, but uh, now it is not a number value series, but a matrix value series. But uh, everything else, uh, the uh, Identity over here, the probability versus quadratic reality works exactly the same. And uh, then the key example for this talk uh, is the incidence algebra of a book. So uh, let P uh, be a uh, function. And then let uh, IP be the linearization uh, of the phase force set of the Uh, that mm, probably the link here should be the work of Paul uh, about the algebra of process and the actual properties in general. Uh, R of P is the self rule. Let us see that numerics are correct for that. Yep. 
Uh, it means that uh, if you have uh, a pulsat, uh, then instead of an L, you have a vector space sitting on this L. So it's a linear category uh, where the whole space, uh, the whole spaces are either zero or uh, one dimensional, uh, depending on whether there is an L between two elements or not. <laughs> and spaces arrows in a box diagram, some arrows in a two Uh anything. <laughs> well, uh, you have the composition of elements where uh so not, not the pass the, for you to have the composition, you need not the half half passive arrows, but just like all the arrows. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say that numerics are order on the example. Uh, let's take our photo to be the interval. Mm -hmm. So then we have uh, three pieces: the uh, beginning, the end. At the interval itself. So uh, our linearization of the process uh, consists of uh, well inclusion of uh, x into s, inclusion of y into y, and inclusion of i into i, and then also x into i and y into uh, i. So it's five dimensional. Let us write that. Uh, with the CDS, which, as I said, is now uh, taking values in matrices. So, uh, f of the incidence algebra of the interval. So, we have x, y, i, x, y, i. We have ones on the diagonal. There is a one dimensional uh, whole space from each phase of itself. Then also X is included into uh, I, and uh, this is a uh, co dimension uh, give you the grading. So it's P here, P here, and zero zero values. So this is the Hilbert series uh, of the incidence algebra of the interval. And uh, Uh, one can check that there is a minus here, but as a that I'm not to give one. Multiply this matrix with this matrix. One obtains the identity matrix. Mm -hmm. So uh, the numerics are from order and uh, this is not of the numerics. This thing is uh, really just of mm -hmm. And uh, the point of my talk is uh, that there is numerical evidence uh, that those incidence algebras uh, should be just the empty ones parts of some larger structures, which are also associated with colleges and are also just of dual. Uh, and these larger structures are color objects. So let me explain uh, what these structures are and why the numerics suggest that those expansions uh, should exist. So, and uh, operant in uh, one color, it uh, consists of uh, M spaces we want to uh, and so on, where instead of uh, multiplication like in algebra, you have uh, operating composition. That uh, takes uh, operations of MTM, combines them with operations of RTM, uh, and makes operations of RTM plus M minus one. So uh, it should be viewed as taking some something say of RT3, inserting something of 
empty two, mm -hmm. uh, and obtaining something of everything one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. uh, with the ordinary associated index. Mm -hmm. So every algebra can be viewed as an operand, which just has P1 and all those kinds of zeros. And uh, then multiplication in the algebra is just uh, inserting binary operations into binary operations and obtaining new binary operations. So having such a uh, thing, uh, how do you write its uh, one career? Uh, is Hilbert series. So what's a Hilbert series on over? <laughs> well, we'll need one more variable that uh, takes uh, care not of the gradient, but also of energy. <laughs> so uh, if those things are of the same type uh, that we had our uh, algebra previously, graded, it's on the gradient, then we need one more variable, which we will call S. So the progressiveness of uh, our operand will be a power series in its uh, in this new variable s, and uh, it will start in this case from the first power x, uh, and it will have the I will write the dimension with big letter B of the n times Xn. Where this uh, dimension is actually what I meant by Hilbert series, series previously. So this is some series in, series in our own direction. Uh, okay, good. Uh, uh, there is uh, a version of bar construction for operands. There is uh, a version of quadratic uh, duality for operands. So uh, the question is uh, the identity that I noticed from here, which said that uh, the Hilbert series of algebra times the Hilbert series of uh, the uh, dual algebra multiplied to one, what happens to that identity? And uh, the answer is that for operands it's very similar, but instead of multiplying things, we need to compose things. So the identity which varies from here now states that if you take a, a series of dual operand, you insert the series of the dual operand, uh, I write each three for each of these. Uh, bar which is supposed to be an open one like operand. Then you obtain well not one, but x. <laughs> so this is what happens to the identity. I don't have this size. <laughs> uh let's uh in particular. If your opera is self dual, then it's Hilbert series in an emotion. Yeah, is an emotion over. Uh, let's look at an example of a self-dual opera. Here, 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 then is our graded algebra for the uh, for the keys. The uh, uh, the yeah, they are binary number spaces. So your P of one could have been A, which I erased from this record to write this thing. So then P of two could have been the same thing. So they have uh, the uh, internal reading over which I take the order characteristic, then they have this reading uh, over which I have power series in B, but they also they have this mm -hmm. area. 
So the simplest example of um, operand uh, is the uh, associated operand. Uh, which uh, which job has uh, each related component equal to the basic group. Mm -hmm. uh, this corresponds to the fact that if you have the associated operation uh, and uh, and inputs and you're not allowed to change the order of inputs, then there is just one thing that you can make to all those inputs. You can multiply them the order of <laughs> So let us write the Hilbert series of the associated component. So it will be x plus x squared plus so on. So this is x divided by one plus x. Let us make sure that our relation on that part of the works. So checking the Hilbert series identity, we stick this thing instead of S into itself. Given that I have lower size, I should even succeed in not making any mistake last cap. I can do it. Good. So uh, we have uh, an associated operand which is self dual, uh, and uh, this uh, series composed with itself, uh, not as x. Uh, now, uh, in the case of algebras, to start talking about, about photos, uh, I suggest that to introduce many colors and consider algebras with many colors. The same thing can be done with operands. So instead of operands, uh, we can uh, consider uh, colorful operands. Uh, this is things uh, which have the, some base set of colors, and uh, then they are right graded components, uh, the empty components have some colors on the inputs and some color uh, on the output. And uh, you are allowed to do the composition like a network if the color over here matches with the color over here. Otherwise, you do not have the uh, operating composition. Of course, you can always forget about these colors uh, by just saying that the compositions that are not defined are equal to zero, the same if you have done with SDS algebra, but that is somehow a wrong thing. We better say that the compositions that are not defined are not defined. Right. So this is a colored uh, operand. Uh, when uh, I uh, switched from algebras to algebras with many objects, uh, my series just started being very steady. Mm -hmm. Is this like uh, in a computer science analogy, like the, the data type of the thing and the domain? Like, you have the output, the right data type for a Yes, exactly. You can compose operations only if the output type matches with the input type in this input of this operation. Mm -hmm. uh, and Typical example of a color operand uh, is a monoidal category uh, where you uh, uh, can say that the colors are uh, all the objects and the P from object X1, Xn into object X is equal to one from the tensor product. To 
all the lower level categories to give you uh, examples of other topics. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, what is an inward series for a color operator? Well, in this case, uh, we have a bunch of series for each output. So, for uh, each output, you get uh, a series, and what is this together? Well, together, this is an order version of the tensor algebra on all the colors. Let me write that down. So let me be the vector space generated by the set of colors in my operand. Then the Hilbert uh, series of a colored operand P uh, is an endor peasant of the tensor algebra on B, which takes uh, your variable corresponding to the color C and sends it to the sum over monomials C1, Cn. These are some colors in the operas. And here you have the dimension of the character component that goes from C1 CN to C. So this is a generalization. So if you say that you just have one color, then uh, what is written on this board translates into what was written on that one. And for a uh, So this, the identity that uh, I am predicting today uh, says that if uh, two uh, operands are uh, dual, then they are Hilbert series from both but So T. So a map from T of B to itself, which is obtained by taking F of P and composing it with F of the shrink is the identity algebra and the morphism of uh, the standard algebra. Uh, in particular, uh, is uh, your uh, thing is self dual, then this thing is an evolution. So the uh, question that uh, I was interested in uh, is the following. Uh, you have the incidence algebra of the polytope, which has many objects, many colors that are features of the polytopes. Uh, so does this incidence algebra of P uh, have an extension to a dual self dual Now you can see that I'm slightly cheating on the formulation of this question because the answer is obviously positive. You can do nothing, just end all the higher components uh, to be zeros. So this will be a dual self-dual operand. But as you may guess, this is not what I want. <laughs> so let me explain what is the what is the candidate when the candidate has. When the candidate is proved to be the correct answer, when the candidate has chances of being the correct answer, and why I think that uh, this could be the correct answer, namely, what are the numeric proofs for that? Uh, what is the numeric evidence for that in terms of the Hubert series? <laughs> so. Uh, 
uh, candidates uh, to this uh, thing is as follows. Uh, the colors are the faces of the border. Now I should say what is uh OB from some line of faces uh into another place. Uh let us take some linear functional which is generic with respect to this polytope and uh orient uh this polytope and let us say that some phase f1 is Curly smaller than the phase F2. If you can get from the top vertex uh, uh, of F1 to the bottom vertex of F2 along the edges as oriented by the linear function. Mm -hmm. So then this space is uh, one dimensional. Mm -hmm. If uh, these spaces are a uh, sequence with respect to this program relation. Uh, and they uh, sit uh, inside the phase F. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, what's our shift? Mm -hmm. And zero arcs. Mm -hmm. Uh, other question does this uh, opera uh, even see the correct gradients? Like, is it possible to bring that to uh, And with just the identity operations uh, sitting uh, in the base uh, degree. And the answer is uh, not always. Uh, this is some combinatorial property of the topology that I call shortness. So when we with respect to this uh, functional is short. Uh, OB sits in the correct way. And uh, conjecture uh, OB is Cells. Why do I do it with that? Uh, well, in this last, in the first condition, does it say Fn less than F or is it something? So uh, S1 uh, is smaller than F2, smaller than Fn. So they are. So, for example, let us draw a pentagon. Let us orient it like, like this. Uh, then there is a one dimensional form from this edge plus, and then this edge into the top dimensional face because uh, these two edges they are ordered like this and they sit inside the top dimension. <laughs> Uh, the dimensions can be anything at the uh, whole dimension of those uh, guys inside this thing. They uh, end up uh, giving you the shift, uh, which is not really good. <laughs> uh, and uh, the uh, numeric evidence uh, for this thing uh, being uh, close of all uh, is the following. So if you are looking just at binary operations, then binary operations uh, in these operands are given uh, by uh, pairs of faces uh, which are one smaller than another and uh, sit in the uh, third piece. So uh, if we are looking at the Hubert series uh, of this operand, then it would be sending this space S into something that has a sound F1 uh, times F2. 
And uh, in uh, for many families, apologies for them to synthesis, or for example, for use, or for example, for association. Mm -hmm. The cellular diagonal for the photos, it has uh, components which are exactly given by these uh, theories of uh, phases like this, uh, with uh, the uh, dimensions of this F1 and F2 uh, adding up to the dimensional test. Uh, and the fact that a cellular diagonal is indeed a cellular map. Uh, it just starts writing the uh, identity on uh, Hilbert series of this operand, and then uh, what some of the cancelling that will be happening here will be exactly translating into the fact that uh, F1, uh, that a map that takes F and sends into F1 and F2 is a cellular map of So. This is the numeric evidence for uh, this being uh, being the correct result of rule extension for the case when that the diagonal is given by the But uh, there are some politics where the diagonal is uh, given by something more complicated, and uh, this exactly corresponds to the case uh, where the polytope is not short. So. Uh, what is the status of this projector right now? The project is one here, that is between the top of all, right? So, uh, here, um, uh, if you take V being the simplex, Or a polygon, or some product because the construction is being so complicated. For example, a few minutes for the season. That would be his. So, so, uh, and the first thing is the uh, Roma basis, uh, which basically means that uh, the first is uh, discussed in the technical, and I would love to know some more conceptual proof of that fact, but I could not come up with that. Uh, in the case where the polydome is not short, this construction is uh, not correct, mainly because uh, the question is what is the correct subopterant of OP when the polydome E is not short, and we can prove that uh, this thing is good software. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think that's not the debate. So, uh, thank you for your attention.